everyone, I'm Ronnie Arnold. I'm the group exercise manager at Cooling Wellness in Rona. So today I'm gonna to give you a little core workout. It's about a 15 minute workout. We're gonna use a mat, but of course if you're at home, you can use a carpet or a rug and you can certainly put a towel down as well, okay? So what we're gonna do is work your core, which is gonna be your abs as well as your back and glute. We're gonna start on the floor. <clears throat> and this is a good one to tag on to one of our other videos if you wanna do an upper or the lower workout and then come and do the core workout. Roll yourself down onto the floor. All right, so we're gonna start by warming up your core with a Pilates 100. So the knees are gonna come up over the hip, and your hands, palms toward the floor, long arms from the shoulder. Now this is level one. Level two, you're gonna put the feet up, heels together, toes open. And level three, you're gonna drop down about 45 degrees. So you choose which level that you wanna start off with. Palms down to the floor, tuck your chin, lift up, we're gonna piston the arms from the shoulder. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Five breaths out. Now get those shoulders up, tuck your chin. Belly pulling in really tight. All right, you're about halfway. Can you change levels? Maybe go a little bigger. Pedal that belly in. Sharp, sharp arms, hang on. And then bring the knees and the chest and give them a little hug. Just rock side to side here for a moment. All right, setting the knees over the hips. You're making an L with your legs. You bring the hands down beside you. Now everybody, pull your belly in, brace. So you're pulling the belly in toward the spine and you wanna keep the back flat on the mat the whole time through this series. Start with a little toe tap. Just take your front foot down and then switch for the back. Light touch. And the knees are gonna stay right over the hip. That's about an arm's distance away. All right, that just keeps the work in the lower ab for you. Now your back is gonna to wanna to lift off the floor as you tap that toe down. So keep pressing gently into the mat. Now, if you like, you can stay with this single toe or let's do a double toe down. Tap and lift. You see, I'm trying to keep my legs in that L shape, so I'm tapping maybe a foot, foot and a half away from my rear end. Breathe out every time your feet come down. I'm gonna take a breath in. All right, now we're gonna set the toes to the floor. Keep your heels up. Hands lightly touching your head. Start with the basic crunch, just lift and lower. Up, slide the ribs towards your hips. And you're gonna breathe out every time you come up. And that's gonna help isolate through your core. Eyes just between the knees. All right, let's add on and add a little twist here. So you're gonna lift up, turn to the front, center, and down. Lift, twist to the back, center, down. So now we're starting to hit those obliques. Breathing out as you draw that shoulder across the body. Keep those hips grounded. Let's right, do one more on each side. More to the back, and again, we're gonna pick those feet up, hands by your side. All right, so knee over the hip again, resettle, belly in tight, let's do our Pilates scoop. Your front foot is gonna sweep down and up, and then back in, back leg, sweep down, lift, about a 45. Point your toe, and then flex at the top of the move. So you want the leg to go as low as you can, without your back lifting off the floor. Breathe out as you extend, flex, push through your heel. Now, like before, if you like the single leg, stay with the single leg, or we're gonna do this in a double. So sweep down and up. 
Now watch your back, keep it against the floor. Let those knees restack over the hip. If you don't want to bring them in too close, again, just keep that work in the lower ab. One more here. All right, restack the knees. Lifting up, take your chest up and pulse. Reach, reach. Palms toward the floor. Again, just pulsing to slide that rib cage toward your hip. All right, other hold, hold, hold. Now draw your front knee in. Extend your back leg out. We're gonna do a double pulse switch. So it's one. Two, switch, one, two, switch, switch. Now your chest is up, shoulders off the floor. Breathe out twice every time you pull in. All right, let's try long leg. Lift up, grabbing at the calf, and switch, and switch. Now if you don't like this, go back to the bent knee. Try to get those shoulders up a little higher. And hold, bring the knees into the chest for a moment. And extend out, stretch your abs. All right, so let's give those abs a little break. We're going to move on to your posterior chain. Take your feet pretty close to the rear end. You should almost be able to kind of touch your heels. And they're about hip distance. So start with a hip tilt, all right? Just lift the hips off the floor and lower down. Squeeze your butt. Every time you lift up, you need that extra isolation. Squeeze. Press the feet firmly into the floor. Now I'm only lifting up just a couple inches here to start. All right, now let's do a full bridge. So press the feet into the floor, roll your hip off the mat and pull your vertebra off the mat one at a time, climb onto the shoulders. Now, from the top here, keep the hips square. We're going to take a little walk. Your front foot steps out, back foot out. Front foot in, and in. Now, lightly step. Okay, don't stop. Keep the hips high the whole time, and square to the ceiling. Now, we're going to switch feet. Your back foot is going to lead now, stepping out, out, and in. In. Keep lifting. Hips high, hang on. One more time. Now roll your back down and draw the knees into the chest. It's just going to just take the pressure off your lower back here for a second. Take a little rock side to side. All right, we're going to go up again. Feet to the floor. Roll up. Climb onto the shoulder nice and high. Now, from the top of the move, just take a little pulse. Pulse, pulse. Just drop down a couple inches. Press the feet, push, push. Hips as high as you can go. Now, if you like this and feel more stable, stay here. I'm gonna challenge you to pick up your front foot, extend your toe, and keep pulsing. If you do this, you gotta keep those hips square. Hang on. All right, if you're lifted, try switching your feet. If not, just keep pulsing, hang on. Bend the knee and roll down. All right, knees in the chest, relieve the pressure off your back. We have one more bridge work. Now, your feet are gonna come a little wider than this one. Widen out wider than your hips, toes slightly out. Then come up into your bridge, rolling up. Now, from the top of the moon, just squeeze your knees together and open. Squeeze and open. Keep pressing firmly into the floor. Okay, working. Through those side glutes, hang on. Give me one more. And give me that roll back down to the floor. All right, knees in. All right, feet up. I want you to flex like you're standing on the ceiling. Bring the toes down towards you. 
Now we're gonna reverse the crunch. You're gonna lift the hips off the floor and down and hold. Lift, lower, hold. And stop every time. So you're taking out the momentum of the move, using your core to lift the hips up rather than the momentum. This is working that lower ab. Hang on. Give me one more. Point the toes to the ceiling. Lift up and reach and pulse. Try to touch your toes. Lift up, 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 a little pulse. Hold, hold, hold. Now open wide. Feet drop, arms come over the head. Then lift back up and try to touch your toes. Open wide, take a big breath in, lengthen out. Exhale, as you reach up, tip the hips and shoulders off the floor. Now you're going as low as you can without that back lifting, and it's gonna be different for everybody. If you're starting to struggle a little bit, try bending your knees and just tapping your toe. All right, I want you to give me one more, open wide. Hands to the head. We're gonna do a little cross crawl. Just bring the front knee in and turn to the front and hold. Now switch to the back and hold. Turn to the front, wait. And twist, and we're gonna speed this up. Twist and twist, twist. Get those obliques one more time. Breathe out every time. That shoulder comes across the body. Again, you can tap the toe as an option. Breathe out. And hold. All right, take your knees into the chest and you're gonna roll them to the front. So laying on your side, you're gonna take that bottom arm out in front of you for some support. Top onto the head, all right? And just take a little crunch up and down. So work those obliques again. Don't push too much into the floor, just use it for some stability. Now lengthen the arm out and pulse, pulse, pulse. And holding here, take your arm. Elbow underneath your shoulder for support. You're gonna rock back on your hips. Your chest is gonna open about a 45 degree angle. Hand behind you, support. Knees come in and shoot out. In, out. All right, now be careful not to collapse it down here. Keep the chest lifted and high. Breathe out, breathe in as you extend right to the tip of your toe. Knees deep in the chest. Now out and hold, lift. And lower, lift. Now if this gives me too much, you can drop one leg to the floor and just lift a single leg. All right, let's do a little combination move. In and out with the knees. Now scissor the leg, top leg goes back and in. In, out, open, shut. So keep the chest up. where it is. Knee to the floor, everybody. Reaching up, lift over your head, lift the hip high, pick up your top foot. Now let's do some crunches on the side here. Crunch and extend. Elbow to your knee. Breathe out, breathe in. Out and hold, 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 hold. All right, now take your foot to the floor and pulse your hip. Arm comes up. If you want more, take that knee off the floor. Take a little pulse at the top. And hold. All right, guys, gotta do the other side. Flip around. All right, we're gonna start with those side crunches. First, so your knees are coming a little bit forward. Hip in line with your shoulder. Lift. Lift. 
Breathe out. All right, let's reach for the heel, and you're gonna pulse. Pulse. Stay at the top of the move. All right, lifting up. Arm behind you, chest up. So pull the belly in really tight towards your spine. Lift your chest, go in and out. So go for range of motion here. Really pull the knees in and extend out. Out and hold. Up and down, up. Remember, you can do a single leg here if you like. All right, and our little combination. In and out. Scissor leg, top leg goes back. And in. in. One more time. All right, side crunches. So take your side plank, lift up, bottom knee to the floor, everybody toe to the back. Arm over the head, lift, crunch. Give me eight. Keep the hip high. We have our little pulses, arm up. Now remember, you can keep the knee down or lift up. And uh, now roll over onto your belly. Just push the arms into the floor here, moment, stretch. All right, slide your hands back. Go back into a child's pose, just release, give your back. All right, then lifting up, take a big breath in. Stretch your abs, lift up, and let it go. All right, and that is your core workout.